and welcome to a preview of Los Alamitos, California. One of my favorite cities, and we're really gonna focus in on my favorite neighborhood, which is Rossmore. Stick around till the very end, because I'm gonna tell you about a special little story that happened right over there. a little bit about the homes in Rossmore. They were built in the late 50s through the early 60s. They were anywhere from 1,400 square feet to about 1,800 square feet, 1,900 square feet as originally built. But as you can see, like this one here, it's over 4,000 square feet. This is a choice neighborhood where people have bought some of the older homes and have made them into much larger estates. Why? The number one reason why is because of the school district. Los Alamitos School District and Los Alamitos High School specifically are some of the top rated schools in the state, if not the nation. One of the great things about Rossmore and Los Alamitos is the fact that the freeways, the 605 and the 405, wrap around it, thereby taking most of the traffic away from our city and around it. Meaning the city is very quiet, peaceful, perfect for locals. Some of the things about Los Alamitos in general is the Los Alamitos Unified School District. Top notch, high rated, not only in the county, but the state and, and nationally. If you go in and Googled Los Alamitos High School, you'd see a list of illustrious alumni that's really super long. One of the interesting things about it is that the television show Glee, the writer of that show, graduated from Los Alamitos High School. We have the parks. We're close to the beach. There's shopping nearby. We have our own little branch of, of the uh, Orange County Library right here. So if you're liking what this neighborhood offers, reach out to us. Hey, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on our next video. We're standing in Rush Park, which used to be Rush Elementary School. And as a kid, uh, right here where I'm standing right here, right uh, there was a, uh, an, a kindergarten building and a big wall around it, big brick wall, about six feet high. As an eight-year-old kid, a six-foot wall looks pretty inviting. So there I was walking along the top of it when my foot slipped. And I headed straight towards that sidewalk. Now, I may have been eight, but I wasn't stupid. I threw out my arm to make sure my head didn't hit first. And I broke this wrist right there. <laughs>